All right, we're on the move this morning. Welcome to FCRB TV. All right, I'm on the move this morning. We just got the draw. We got Atletico Madrid. We'll take that. We'll take that. And honestly, I'll tell you right now, honestly, after the matches last night, uh, seeing Marseille, seeing uh, Red Bull Salzburg, um, it would have been harder for Arsenal if we would have gotten either Salzburg or Marseille because those two teams look look like teams that are hungry and determined determined to prove their worth. They want to show that they belong. They want the title. There's there's a, there's a chip on their shoulder, so to say. Let's not forget Atletico Madrid. Their captain Gabi said he said that uh, you know the Europa League is garbage. He didn't really say garbage. He used. You know, a word that I, I don't want to use right now. I feel it's too early in the, early in the day to start swearing. But uh, Gabi said that, uh, you know, they weren't happy to have been dropped down into the to the Europa League. So, you know, after their result against uh, against Sporting last night, Sporting won the game 1-0 but lost on aggregate 2-1. Um, they, 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 they have an attitude about, you know, being there. Yes, they're close to a title, but deep down, they really don't want to be there. Meanwhile, Marseille and Salzburg, they want to be there. They're proud to be there. And they want that title. And um, that could have been a problem for Arsenal. You know, I think that um, because it's a big name, the Arsenal lads, you know, because, you know, some of those guys, they like to play as if they're going to play for a contract to leave, to uh, to uh, gain the attention of other clubs. So getting Atletico Madrid, I think the response is going to be a bit like when we played Milan in the round before, um, in the round of 16. Um, because uh, a big name, Atletico Madrid, uh, Diego Simeone's there. You've got Griezmann. You've got uh, Di Diego Costa. You know, all those big names, our, our, our guys at the Arsenal will rise to the occasion, I believe. I think it's a perfect semifinal tie for the Arsenal. Um, the other semifinals is going to be fire as well. I am predicting uh, an all-French affair in Lyon, Marseille versus Arsenal in the Europa League final 2018. Um, and you say all-French, well, Arsenal's from London, they're English. Yeah, but you know Arsene Wenger is there, and we've we've had a lot of French players come through at Arsenal, so um, that is uh, why I say an all-French affair. And it'll be quite fitting that the last time Arsenal were in a European uh Cup final, it was in Paris, and uh, it was against Barcelona, the Champions League final in 2006. So hopefully we can get there over these two-legged tie in the semifinals against Atletico, trump them, and uh, get to the final. I think we can do that. I'm very excited about it. Um, going back to going back to the uh, to the uh, to the match yesterday, um, I was scheduled to. Uh, go to an event while the game was on and uh, I had to cancel the event because Peter Cech was not good enough yesterday and uh, he gave a rebound away and Moscow had made it 1-0 and I was a little I, I just felt like you know what I cannot leave so I had, to, I had to cancel the event that I was supposed to attend or you know uh, uh, notify them that I wasn't going to uh, be able to make it something came up what came up was Arsenal needed me and I had to make sure that I was available for the Arsenal I had to see how, how it all unfolded so uh, did that and uh, started second half check gives up another rebound again and uh, mate 2-0 and uh, now it looks like you know Moscow can uh, can make a, a rousing comeback just as uh, just as uh you know, Roma did, and 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 basically, uh, Juventus did um, yesterday in the, in the Champions League. So, um, so at two nil, it was on a knife's edge, and I I think that the, the lads responded well. I think that uh, I think that um, you know, for me, Koscielny led by example. Koscielny was very good last night. Neither goal was, uh, uh, he, was he wasn't culpable for any of the goals uh, last night. Um, and I think that he won, won key tackles, uh, made important passes. And when we needed to keep pressure on CSKA, um, they were trying to get out. 
Koshani was winning tackles right at the midway line there, just at the top of our box, and getting us out and pushing forward and getting us forward again. So I thought Koshani was huge in that regard. He's a leader who doesn't uh, uh, say too much, but he says a lot through his play. And I thought Koshani was great last night. And for me, you know, um, some folks are saying that Danny Warbeck was the man of the match. Danny Warbeck did have a a good performance, a, a pretty good performance last night. Um, I'll get on him in a second. But my man of the match uh, was Mohamed El Neni. And uh, there was a moment in the game where we had made it 2 1, um, and uh, goal assisted by Mohamed El Neni. Um, and uh, it might have been even 2 2. The game was winding down, and, and you could have easily taken your foot off the gas and said that, yo, we've killed the game off, and uh, there's no chance of them coming back. And there was a, a moment where two CSK players had the ball and they were playing they were trying to find a way to get down the, our right hand side and Muhammad was the highest guy up the pitch for us and he was doing doggies back and forth putting pressure on those two CSK players so that they couldn't penetrate our uh, our midfield and get towards our goal and I'm like look at this guy running when it's 2-2 I believe Game's gone. We've 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 eliminated him. There's there's not enough time left, and he's still working. It was unbelievable. I mean that 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 um effort, that work rate, that desire. I mean you can't you can't teach that, and that's why you know for me, overall he got two assists on the night. He worked tirelessly in midfield. He was great for us. You know he was great for us, and uh, you know that then that we were gonna go right into. Uh, D Dubs, and I think that D Dubs performance. Maybe he watched my video the other night, uh, the other day, but uh, he performed like you know a, a striker who is trying to stake his claim. And he's not ahead of Aubameyang. He's not ahead of Lacazette. But he, it was a moment for him to shine, and finally he took it. You know what I mean? He did well against Southampton um, on the weekend. You know, but uh, he did well against Southampton on the weekend. Uh, but that the, there, people could say as as I could, you know. I think I said as well that you know, okay, it's Southampton. You know, they're they're a bad side. There's really nothing to play for for us in the league per se. Even though I think that you know we would like to catch Chelsea, and uh, you know he scores a brace. Should have scored a hat trick, but scored a brace gets us the the, the three points, which is very good. And he he carried on in a bigger bigger match against Moscow on the road and uh, does the job, gets the all-important goal to kill off the tie. So well done, Denny Welbeck. I'm not completely a hater. I keep it real. I keep it 100. And, uh, you know, you got to keep doing that, bruv. You just got to keep doing that every time out, every time you're selected. And Venga loves to select you. Um, you just got to keep performing like that, bruv. So as we have Atletico coming up this weekend, if you play again against Newcastle, you got to get a G, fam. You got to score. Simple as that. So, um, you know, it was a, a great response. You know, Ramsey got injured. It looked like he had staples in his calf. Um, but he was able to, to soldier on and get us, the, you know, uh, and it, you know, stoppage time insurance goal to make it look better that we didn't lose the, the match and we drew 2-2. We'll take that and, um, you know, move us on to the semifinals. So I'm really proud of the boys last night. It was great stuff. Um, uh, Mustafa was pretty decent. Um, um, check, check, check is check is a problem for us, people. Check is really a problem. I think that he's just past it. He looks like an old man in the net. You know what I mean? When you see somebody like Oblak move, or you see somebody like uh, Ederson move, I mean he's a uh, he's like he's, he's he's a bit of an old man. You know what I mean? It's like it's not good enough. You know those rebounds that he gave up uh, last night. That's not good enough. If you're going to parry it, it's got to be a way where there's no rebound. You know what I mean? And um, hopefully he gets it right and um, he can just get through this to, through this competition for us and help us win it. And then we've got to get a goalkeeper. Uh, and I'm hoping that, you know, as we eliminate, as we go after Atletico and, and knock them out, we, we get all black in the summer. we got to get some a big-time keeper. We need a big-time keeper. And Czech is just not that, it's just not that guy anymore. He's just not. So Czech wasn't good enough. And another player who was not good enough is... Um, you guys already know what I'm going to say. Jack Wilshere was not good last night. Not good. Uh, I mean, Mustafi headed the ball out and hit him in the face. I mean, you would have thought the man got kicked in the face. 
hit the deck and was rolling around on the ground holding his eye like he got punched. I'm like, dude, come on, man. What is all that about? Get up, bruv. You know, that was just like kind of embarrassing he did that. And then uh, um, he lost the ball a lot. I don't really remember him doing anything of consequence. And that's, uh, uh, you know, ultimately why he was pulled off. You know, he just was not good enough when they brought on Chambers for him. He wasn't good enough. He, um, it was an opportunity for him to, again, you know, stake his claim and, uh, and uh, um, show that, you know, he can really boss the midfield. And he wasn't good enough. He just wasn't good enough. And, and I said on Facebook yesterday before the game that, um, you know, Anthony Martial, uh, the word is he's, he's on the move. Like, he's not going to stay at United um, past this summer. And, uh, you know, the question was, would you want him at Arsenal? I was like, yeah, let's give Man United $50 million plus Jack Wilshire. If they fall for that, that's great. And uh, somebody said, no way, you can't give away Jack. What, are you stupid? I'm like, dude, Jack, Jack, Jack is a squad player, man. Are you telling me you wouldn't want Anthony Marshall in the squad at, at the expense of Jack? And listen, if we make that deal, which I don't even think they'd fall for it, but if they fell for it, we get the number 10 shirt free. We give that to Ozil, even though Ozil wasn't good enough last night either, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, it's uh, it's uh, Jack is uh, Jack needs to – if Jack is to stay at Arsenal, I would tell him you got to give up the 10 shirt, go wear something else. Um, go wear something else. Like, uh, I don't even know. I got to check to see what numbers are available. Maybe, maybe, maybe 25. Go wear number 25. Be a squad player. You play, in, you play when we need you. Uh, the big games, you're not going to start because I, I just don't think he's good enough. And you know what? If, if we if we made the deal and got him out, we can get Max Meyer on a free from Germany. You know? I think Max Meyer is at the Schalke. You don't know who Max Meyer is. You better look him up. Nice young German player. Let's go get that man, dude. I'm sorry. I mean, I really think that the only reason why we keep Jack around is because he's English. And it's not, uh, it's not, nothing wrong with that. You know, it's an English club. You want to keep young English lads and, you know, English players in the squad who are good enough. And he is good enough to be in the squad, but not to be uh, a, a main catalyst in our squad. Nah, he's not. He's not. Last night was not a good night for him. And as I said, Mesut Ozil, you know, I think Mesut Ozil took the day off yesterday. He wasn't very good. Um, he, I think he, he had that Barcelona syndrome yes, yesterday thought that the three goal cushion we had should have been good enough and he just didn't play like he was about the business so um we need more from you Mesut. we need way more from you and i'm expecting you to to rise to the occasion and uh, give us that when we tangle with atletico madrid so so that's how i'm feeling about it i'm, I'm really pumped um I'm I'm glad we didn't get any of those you know those upstart teams and I don't want to call Marseille an upstart team Salzburg upstart yes um, but Marseille is a big club from France they've they have European success in their history uh, they've won the Champions League but uh, you know they, they they haven't really returned to that to that standard just yet and they're really trying to get there now and uh, Payet looked frightening yesterday Payet looked real frightening. Um, they looked hungry, and you know what? It would have been nice to go to the Village Room, but nah, we're good. We'll, we'll go to the Metropolitan in, in 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 Madrid, go there, get 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 some goals, possibly win the game, and then we can be off to see Marseille in the final in Lyon. Wouldn't that be nice? Wenger goes back to France. The game is in Lyon, and uh, like I said, it's going back home. It'd be sweet. So that's how I see it. Um, I'll be. I'll probably be back once I. Uh, uh, I get the draw for. I, I was just. I just got a text from one of my. Uh, uh, ITK fellas, Drew. He just told me Real, Real Madrid and Bayern Munich in the semifinals. Therefore, Roma versus Liverpool in the other semifinals of the Champions League. Um, that's that's pretty massive. I hope Bayern beat Real Madrid because Real Madrid. I'm still. I'm still on. I've listened to the. Uh, I've listened to the. Uh, um, the the pundits, the uh, ex players, about what they thought of uh, the penalty, and I still think it's not a penalty. You can't call that. You just can't call it. So I kind of got a little beef with Real Madrid. I want Bayern Munich to knock them out. This is what I would. This is the the dream scenario. Bayern knocks out Real. Roma knocks out Liverpool, which I don't think can. That that front three at Liverpool is frightening. 
So Roma, Bayern in the final. Bayern wins on pens. Because that's how Bayern likes to do sometimes. Bayern wins on pens. We beat Marseille 3-1 in Lyon. And guess what? Who's going to be in the Super Cup? Arsenal versus Bayern Munich. That would be sweet. So, yeah, you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm at work now. So, enjoy the day. Happy Friday. Hopefully, you got paid this week. Uh, pay, pay, pay today. Um, give me your comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, Arsenal, Newcastle this weekend. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Ciao. FCRB TV. Subscribe.